Okay, Nikolainen, everyone, and welcome back to more cyberpunk adventures in Night City with V. So currently, currently I've been juggling between three games, uh, one game to a, a slightly lesser extent, uh, but they are this one here, Cyberpunk 2077, Fallout 4, because of course the update, uh, the next gen update, and uh, the one that's to a slightly lesser extent, uh, Dragon Age Origins. So those are the three um, that I've been focusing on mostly. I do plan to get back to the other stuff I've been doing. Um, but, you know, th those ones I already have set on, on schedules, so uh, you'll still be seeing those on a regular, you know, regular, uh, the regular schedule you've been seeing them. Um, I think at this point, those three games, this one and Fallout 4 and uh, Dragon Age, uh, those have now been put on a schedule as well. So, uh, anyways... Uh, earlier I was doing Fallout 4 and I was thinking about which one I want to do and uh, I figured I want to do this one so I felt like I was in a mood for it. Cyberware inventory. Yeah, I still don't know how to get into my uh, my codex. You know the journals and stuff I've been picking up. the differences here. It's okay. Oh. I pushed Z. How come? Gramsci Burgers. Okay. Do my best to talk us out. V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tech hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute okay. anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. What does this keep popping up like this? This grid. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. Non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal quick hacks, non-lethal weapon, EMP grenades, some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. If, if a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Okay. Everything look weird like this. Let's 
someone's in here. Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? First place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Sometimes I'm at a loss with the words you use, but. Miss V? Oh, okay. Let me hear it. What is What's the, job? the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm hmm. Look at his. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. It's a death sentence. Um. Corpse don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second to rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Can you want to know more about this Klein? Klein. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Bet knew it wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. 
Royce is in charge now. And I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's <laughs> work. To add to this ship's room, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Okay, I should learn Royce as much as I can What's about these like? people. A straight psychopath. Chrome loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes to gosh. You know these analogies you use. Just speak plainly. Hello? Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent. Internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Send it in now. Jesus, I kind of don't know what he's talking about. I, uh, know all I need, I think. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is going to be all you. I mean, I used One to be hip on, on the cool lingo, but Quiet light, back in the day, I suppose. But hmm? later now. I don't know if it's maybe just it's just a whole different thing, this game. But okay, so basically, you just want me to steal some little robot. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City Underground. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Okay, okay. So... Jackster, talk yeah, to Dex. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally at night, yeah. Uh, he was out to work with me over. Wants us to check out, see if we got what it takes. Wants it. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kings. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom Club Then Dex off? paid to take it off their hands the just before the gang goons had to switch up in management. Right, right. My car. That. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. <laughs> she the thing Royce. Don't think about it. Yeah. You don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce. Why does he keep switching between? Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Little punk kids. Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? Was first. Okay, let's. I don't know. Hey, Parker. You with me, Chica? Think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I live. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. My nose to the ground. I thought that was the, the little robot. Still a way to go. I remember him teaching me how to, well, it wasn't him, but how to call my car when it's far away. I forgot what that was. My fucking stomach is hurting again. I didn't even eat late, so something is wrong. I took a, took a few uh, tums, though, but still. Okay. 
How do I hold it down? Call vehicle. Favorite. What, it's just gonna drive to me? just occurred to me can't start your career in major leagues right by sporting some rag of a t-shirt <sighs> the wind blows a lot stronger up there on top of the world old timers like me hate to watch you kids catch cold Left you a couple things in your stash at your apartment. Give them an honest try, and I bet you'll fit you just right. Again, that Eddie's have already changed hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partners in Viz. A round sum of $10,000, to be precise, or yours or whatever. So when you're there to take it off their hands, don't let them try to shake you down as they're liable to do. Maelstrom being Maelstrom. Oh, we're texting? You'll need it. Best of luck. There's so much to do. Have a good one. See you around. Okay, fine. Let's start on this one. Agent Meredith Stout. How can I do that? Oh, here we are. Good. Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. This is really cool. No more cool. than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Still what you having someone beat up. Oh, that, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Let's meet up. Not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal. Fine. 
First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Great. Alright. So we need to turn around. Oh, here we are. Oh! Oh, no! Fucking up my car and that. What? These cars coming after me? Oh no, no. The problem is, if this was on a controller, let's say, right, or if I had the real pedals and stuff, um, you know, for the computer, the driving games, you can control how hard you press to control the speed, and you can maintain it and hold it. Here, you just hold on W, and you just go gradually into top speed. So that's a big problem. Shake your fucking hand. That it oh. Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got any more for me? Christ, Meredith. Shut your trap. That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my question. Honestly, forthrightly, are you here alone? I don't know. I mean, is that guy with me? Talk, damn it! Yep, yep, all by myself. Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen, please. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Oh, I, I don't know. I can help with your mole problem. Is that what I want to do? 
Come on. Never met I anybody an named Gil. Not the poor fucker right there. It's true. Doesn't know him. That said, I've jumped a few convoys in my day. Know all the usual suspects. But I can help find your mole. Fuck but what I know now it. won't get you in. Do I really know how to do that? Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. I really don't know what I'm doing sometimes or what they're talking about sometimes. Like, what, what is the problem? You. I fucking told you I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I. Ugh. Her, you can let go. Wanna hear what she has to say? Oh, God, okay. Do you wanna shake hands now or. But let's make a deal. Your convoy security is a mess, I can help. Could have talked normally from the start. Come on. I want an answer. Okay, okay. I need a bot. Flathead model. Gonna Guys who ripped you suggest off. Suggest helping them out. Promise me that bot. Because I don't know if I'll I can really do that. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. The ladder, so we money. pay them. You pay with our money? Okay. Oh, okay. No way, not happening? What? Sounds solid enough. I'm in. Some shards you find in the world. There are a lot of quick decisions that you have to make, and I just... Some shards you find in the world will contain information hidden behind data encryption measures. To decrypt the shard, first either open it through the notification when you acquire it. When you acquire it. Find it later in the shards tab under journal in the main menu. Then select crack security to unlock its secrets. You pay with that chip? And that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Is that me? Who's, who said that to me? Or did I say that to her? I can tell whose voice is what. Whose voice is who? Where's my car again? Was this my car? Oh, did it move? <sighs> Was it always here? Okay, pick up Jackie. Hold, hold on. Okay. My journal inside there. How, how did it say I can? Go to my journal. Pick up. Oh, I can't remember how it said I could hack that ship. This oh, this one. What?
felling victims. What? to drive. Is this what we have to do? So Dex already paid the maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Ijone. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? We'll pay again, but with military credit. We'll pay again. Hello? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Yeah. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. Mm. See if they even open up. Wait, okay, good. Would you would you like to drive? Please, please. For the love of God, please. Oh, it's just over here? Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it here. Just a gang next like time. any other, right? I will pick this up on the next episode. So very cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. You know, I absolutely love this game, even though I don't 100% understand everything that goes on. <clears throat> Sometimes uh, I think they're talking too fast or like they don't give me a time to, a chance to, uh, like enough time to analyze like what they're saying <laughs> so I can grasp it. They're not speaking normal things, you know, it's not normal. They're just, you know, I'm not used to this kind of conversation and and this these topics they're talking about. So I need to have some time and read it and, and, and you know, there's no way to recall any of that. And then they give you those, uh, those, uh, um, uh, like, uh, a timer. You, know, you have to make a quick decision on what to say. Uh, but despite all that, I, I'm, I'm loving the game. You know, again, this is just me. If I was to watch certain sci-fi flicks, I guess, although I understand a lot of it, though, like Star Wars and, you know, Blade Runner, things like that. But there are some things where I'm not absolutely sure what they're talking about. You know, some of the political stuff that went on in things like Game of Thrones, you know, I, I kind of get it, but maybe there might be a couple things here and there I don't quite follow, but eventually I'll get it, you know, that kind of thing. But, um... But overall, I'm, I'm enjoying this game immensely, okay? So, see you.